Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid. Okay, so what's going on? Oh, I got a severe problem. From the last time I shot to now, I was putting my son to bed, and this is what happened. Yeah, a pirate came and basically just tore the crap tore the crap out of this place like all I can say is brutal like there's oh man can I even is there even gravity like what's going on here let's pick this up there's no more faction home pick this up man brutal I'm like floating here it's like no gravity I'm gonna use this to my advantage actually and fly out into space because I was in the build block and I basically died and so now I need to escape the gravity in our spacesuit look at this just got wrecked by the pirates wrecked man look at that it just tore up the whole plate it just shot it to sh look at that Swiss cheese all the way through oh oh shoot gravity neutralized come on come on I need to escape this need to escape this Oh, brutal. I think we did it. I think we made it outside. Should be in orbit now. Look at that. So it shot up the base. It just... I had it nicely set up. I had a freaking... I had an offloading system. I had a system that would take... So basically you would land your ship. It would offload the materials onto the base. And then the base would then start to process the materials on its own. And then finally you you'd have your final product and I was going to kind of hook up a box of final products to kind of create a chain a spot for for you know like a spot to unload and then it stores there and then it slowly goes into a spot that filters it which then you kind of like a filter chest and then there'd be other chests that pull from that chest to organize it then you'd have like a resources chest where then that would feed into a series of of factories and stuff and yeah you could use it for production facilities and everything and and my mistake was is I didn't build turrets and so this is what happened they just completely shot up the whole corner that I was in so that was oh look at that see them there's a bunch more where are they coming from I hope they're not coming this way because I am totally screwed um, inventory let's go is it B how about uh, V X um, where are these coming from man look at that hope they're not gonna kill me man um, um, oh yeah they are we need a power core. Okay. We need a power reactor. We need. Do we have thrusters? We do not. Oh man, we're totally screwed then. Oh yeah, no, we're not screwed. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Oh, Shiza. What? What? Okay, I'm going, I'm going. What's going on here? Hi. Hi. What? Come on. Whew. Okay, so while that's happening, this is not my day, folks. Let's go here. <laughs> let's, the, what, there has to be a base nearby. Like, one of these has to be a base. I don't know plot path to current get out of this uh, where is it oh, it's that way come on I'm just gonna keep going the aim seems pretty t horrible so I wish they had uh, your vector icons on your your screen here now what I mean about vector icons is kind of the direction your ship is traveling so that way you know what kind of correction to make to do this turn you kind of saw I kind of turned you this way so that way the, the Newtonian physics 
would cause my ship to turn and bend towards the waypoint. And so, in some games, they give you these little markers. Oh, okay, my health is actually down to 54. Wow. So let's see if we can run away from these bad boys. Um, are we allowed to build while moving? Oh yeah, we are. That's cool. Okay, cool. So, do I have a jammer? I do not. So we basically need to... Rail docker. Haha. We can create this one. We can put this on the ship. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's do rail docker. Uh, we're coming up to it. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like we'll have to stop the ship first. Man, oh man. <laughs> Are they, they're in hot pursuit, aren't they? Look at that. Crazy. This might not be a good idea to head here. Let's see here. I need to create a save zone. I think I need to do some administrative commands. Yeah, maybe. Come on, bro. Yeah, we're going to slow down. Come on. Let's see here. Yeah, safety, safety. Oh, shoot, shoot, stop, stop. Ah, I'm gonna fly right in here. I'm gonna fly right in. We're gonna go like this. And I'm gonna go to the undetonator. Okay, so now it doesn't matter. Let's stop the ship here. Okay, let's kind of hide in here. Let's see what happens when they shoot at this place. See if they get shot up or not. Huh, brutal, brutal. I'm gonna align with this thing here. My ship is in here, and there's only one way in, so what's going on? What's going on? They are doing nothing. So I'm gonna hang out here for a moment. So this is what took me out last time. Now, I don't know, so let's go map here. Makes you wonder if, so there's a trade station here. They're not coming from that. And when I was building the whole time, there was no problems. So only when I put the faction block down is when we started to have problems. So it makes me wonder if one of these stations are uh, like pirate stations here. And they're, so they could be relatively close. So which means if we move this down, uh, down, let's see, what does this look like down here? There's more resources down here. Definitely have to check this out. Maybe we'll jump down to this sector here and kind of check that out. But let us recover from that disaster. Uh, let's see here. What do I have in my inventory? So I'm going to need some salvagers. Going to need some power stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? Okay. So let's do this. Let's go buy. Uh, what can we sell? Gray standard armor, a metal grill. Let's let's just sell all this stuff. So I think we can do click and drag to sell, drop to sell. I think. Do I have to be in the event? Do I have to be in the shop to do this? Do I just do this? So if I go, for example, so say we I want to split this. I right clicked on it to split. So what happens if I do this? Okay, so that will give us credits. We can do this. Uh, Multi-slot turret access. Okay. Um, split all up. Okay, there we go. And so now we can go. I'm not going to make turrets, so we're just going to get the funds. I'm not going to use the buttons now. I was going to use the buttons in an experiment, but uh, doors. We don't need the plex doors. Sell them all. Great vast armor. We're just gonna sell all this stuff and see what we have remaining. Uh, Bobby AI. That was gonna be for the turret. I was gonna build on camera. Gravity unit. We don't need. We can definitely reclaim some cash from that. Uh, we have an extra ship core, so we're gonna throw that in here. Definitely. 
We need Canon computer. This is a docking thing. Let's sell that. That'd be cash. Shards. Oh man, I want to process these, but it might be. Uh, it doesn't say how much. I hope I got some credits out of that. I want one storage, can of computer. Okay, so we want to sell this thing. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Real docker. We should keep one. Drop. So sell those two. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. So that's not too shabby. So we're kind of earning our our funds back a bit. This is power reactor modules. Got 11 of those. So we'll be okay. We got some power capacitors. We'll be okay with that. So we need thrusters. We need to split this all up as well. We're going to get rid of this stuff. I wish we could see the pricing there. Maybe I can expand that box. Maybe. Uh, here we go. Maybe that's my problem. We got to expand these to be a little bit larger. Change sell them all. Uh, let's see here. We got sand. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. We got some gray hulls. And we can always buy this stuff back, so it's not a big deal. We can split this all up. We can. We might as well get rid of this stuff. It's just, yeah, we're going to leave that stuff the way it is. The remnants of that base. Oh, man. Oh, brutal. Come on. There we go. And we sell those. Okay. So we got 28,000, so we're back to square one. <laughs> Luckily, I had everything. Luckily, I was able to log in and be in zero G and quickly leave because had I, uh, I hung around there, then yeah. So see, there's these little minor bugs in the game that still exist. So I, of course, I exploited that blah, blah, that bug. Why not? So we're gonna carry on here. So now, where I'm gonna buy some components. I'm gonna do this all on camera. This is how I'm gonna show the game from here on out. Just everything on camera. Um, I'll kind of cut out the stuff when I go harvesting. You know, I'll show you a little bit of that, and then of course, you know, cut it. You know, things like that will make sense. But yeah, just essentially watch me play because this is the only time I get to play, so it's more of a casual style. I can't get to build the big builds, but I have some ideas I want, and I just need to do it. So I need to do it while I'm playing this. And so yeah, and so now you're you're gonna watch me struggle. So <laughs> we're gonna try this all over again. So I'm gonna need a couple of these. These cargo spaces work really nicely, and they're more of a visual representation of the objects. We probably don't even need it, so we'll not actually buy any yet. We have power reactor that, okay, so what we need is we need ship, and we're going to need support tools, and we need one of these, and then we need to buy these guys. And we need to basically as many of these as we can. We're just going to buy 10 for now. Brutal. It sucks. It sucks having to start all over. It's brutal. So now we just need to go... See, we do have some cannons. They don't do much damage, though. And I do want to put missiles in as well into the ship that I want to build. I have this ship you know, in the, like a mind, in mind, and it's a, I think it's a pretty cool ship. Now we need to buy one, two, one, two... Oh, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm not sure how many we need. I'm not sure if I should be buying both of these, but I know we'll hide your signature to all the pilots in the sector. However, it's limited to similar to the cloaker. To remain jammed. Cloaker is capable of rendering an object completely invisible for a period of time. Yeah, I think this is what we need. We need a radar jammer. Okay. Okay, I think... I think this is a good start. I think we should buy some hull pieces. So, of course, we're going to go with a different color, because why not? I'm not sure what these colors kind of look like. Oh, there we go, basic. Let's actually just type in hull, see what comes up. It's too close to the bottom. Okay, so you can kind of see hull. But I just want the hull pieces. I don't want per se 
Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Red hull is a cool color, but what do I want to make the sh the ship out of? Not sure. Not sure. They don't even have all the colors, or it's not even organized, kind of in a way that you would expect. Let's go buy ten of these bad boys just to see what they look like. Yeah, I don't know. Let's kind of piece together a ship now. Where are those guys? Those guys are gone, I think. I think I escaped them by running away like a baby here. Okay, so let's get out of this place. Okay. The bad boys have left. Back into a safe zone. I'm, I'm thinking this sector is a safe zone, but I'm not 100%. It's basically all default server settings, so that's another reason why. Okay. So, what should we do? What should we do? We need to definitely position. We definitely need to position a storage container. We need power reactors, and power capacitors. So, basically, in the ship, we always need to make sure we have power. So, this is the front of our ship. I'm going to create it directly behind, maybe, and do a little bit different pattern. Usually these patterns, you want to create these patterns in an optimal pattern. And an optimal pattern is something like this. Basically, if you imagine a box from here to here, and these are like the, the edges of the box, and then there'll be like an imaginary box. Well, that's your power generation box. And so you don't need too many of these, but you do need to build them in a certain way to create power. I could put you create another wing on this going this way and that will add this side. It's not as effective, but you're still going to get good power. So this is kind of just power storage. I'm going to kind of put it like this. I'm not sure where exactly. It's going to just kind of you place blocks. Just see how they look and go from there. So, yeah, okay. Okay. Now we need to put thrusters on. I'm just going to put them just directly back here. Maybe go three out like this. And then maybe like that. I should have this on symmetry, but that doesn't matter too much. How do we turn symmetry on? Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, one of these is X. No, I don't want that one. Uh, no, this one. And we want to click on this block okay and so now we have symmetry now let's see so if we put this like that it should be two yeah 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 and then shield recharger would be just like this okay we got a salvage computer let's put that around top here then we can put salvage modules I always put one directly underneath because it's always easier to target, I think. And then we we build them out. So I'm definitely going to need more. Now we need to place a storage container, which can go probably right here. All right. So now this it's connected to the salvage computer, so everything I I, I harvest will go directly into there. And then I can place see this bad boy like this probably and there we go so now we got basic shields we have basic we don't have any shooting capability G to get this up so that way you can kind of click and drag on these for turning the radar jammer on go back uh, click it on go back okay so now everything's jammed as long as you're in it perfect okay I'm feeling a lot better. Let's put the cannon in place as well. This is kind of like what a starting ship would look like. Just a bunch of pile of scrap and heap and <laughs> stuff like that. Cannon barrel. So cannon barrels usually I put in the opposite of this stuff. So let's just put it right here. One, two, three, four. There we go. Usually I put them in opposite tubes because you can't combine these together. If you combine them together side by side, then you just strengthen the beam. So for building designs, you could actually build one beam facing out 
and then behind it you could have a whole big block you know a whole big block of of those cannons or uh, the, the salvage computers so yeah so we'll go back into this thing um no we hopped out of it okay uh, okay i'll uh, get out of build mode i want to change that i wish i'm going to look if there's a way of changing that if if instead of going in, into build mode it just went into directly into the flight mode right i would rather choose the build mode versus it automatically going into the the the, the build mode it just doesn't make sense to me because if i'm going to be in combat i want to hop into the flight like right away not so now i'm just going to kind of see if this is working and uh, we should actually add the the rail docker as well that's very important where do we put that we're going to put it right here because this is the lowest part of the ship and you want the rail docker for on your ship for it to make sense so let's just realign this thingy can't even see that let's readjust oh yeah it's the right way cool okay so yeah so that way then we can dock with the station oh, come on man i don't want to hop out of it there we go there we go whoa okay Woo. okay perfect so then now i'm going to go on a little bit of harvesting here because we need to make some cash again and i'm going to potentially try and build a, a processor somewhere maybe just process this stuff manually because i think i can have it all in my inventory on the ship and then just kind of manually move it uh, we'll see about that but yeah but i will see you here shortly and actually changed my mind check the length of the video I'm gonna say i'm gonna you continue playing the game as if i started all over here and yeah going to have to dock with just turn that on we're gonna have to get into a routine here gonna have the rail docker but yeah but thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and i shall see you all in the next one bye bye